Your end stove will come packaged either in a cardboard box or individually wrapped in plastic as one of many stoves in a large shipping container. If your stove came in a cardboard box, open the box and locate the two disassembled chimney halves in one of the box corner braces. Take the stove out of the box and remove the chimney cap and instructional manual from inside the pot. To put the chimney together, place the chimney section with smooth ends on top of the section with crimped ends. Place the chimney cap on the other end of the chimney section with smooth ends. With the crimped end down, slide the chimney through the chimney brace and into the stove. Make sure that the crimped end of the chimney fits snugly into the stove. If your stove has come in a shipping container, it will arrive wrapped in plastic with long, disassembled chimney pieces placed separately in the container. Remove the plastic and packaging from the stove and take the chimney cap and instructional manual out from inside the pot. Now that you have both the disassembled chimney piece and the chimney cap, press and join the edges of the chimney together. Place the chimney cap on top of the smooth end of the chimney. Now slide the chimney through the chimney brace and fit it snugly into the stove. Make sure that the crimped end of the chimney is facing down. Now that the chimney is snug into the chimney elbow, move the stove with two people onto a smooth, level, and fireproof surface in a covered and well-ventilated area. Do not place the stove on uneven ground or in anything that can catch on fire. If the stove is placed in an enclosed area, make sure that the chimney is routed to the outdoors. If it isn't, there is a risk of carbon monoxide poisoning. Additional chimney pieces may need to be purchased so the chimney can be fed through the wall or the roof. If the stove is placed outdoors, make sure it is not left in the rain or it will rust and be ruined. To light the stove, you will need bits of paper, kindling, sticks, or other flammable biomass material. Make sure that the pot has been removed. Load several small sticks into the front of the stove. Place the kindling on top of the pile. Light the pile from the top of the stove. Pour water or oil into the bottom of the pot before placing it into the stove, or else the aluminum pot will melt. Once you have a bright, hot fire, lift the pot and place it in the stove with two people. Now add the rest of your food and liquid into the pot. A full pot can be brought to a boil in about 45 minutes in both the 60 liter and 100 liter stoves. To operate the stove, use small sticks. Tend the fire at least every 5 to 10 minutes by moving sticks further into the stove and adding more wood as necessary. The fire will go out if it is not tended for about 15 minutes. Do not put too much wood into the stove or it will smoke and not perform as well. With the right amount of wood, the stove will not make any visible smoke and will still cook quickly. When it is time to serve, do not lift the hot pot out of the stove. It is too heavy. Serve food directly from the stove. Doesn't that look great? Stella and Asa sure seem to be enjoying it. Wait at least 30 minutes for the stove to cool after use before cleaning or removing ashes. For best performance, the stove must be clear of ashes. Take a long, thin object such as a stick to sweep ashes out of the stove. Clean the outside of the stove with a cloth if you like. Never pour water on or in the stove. Thank you for purchasing our institutional stove. InStove strives to create a safe, easy way to make food for large groups of people around the world. We hope you have a great experience with our products. Contact us by phone at 1-541-942-9519 
or by email at info at instove.org with questions or for additional parts. You can also find us online at www.instove.org. Details about other products, including the medical autoclave and the drinking water pasteurizer powered by our cook stoves, can also be found on the website. 